Today we're going to look at length and perimeter. So the common units for length include the kilometer, meter, centimeter, and millimeter. And they're given these abbreviations. K, small k m for kilometer, uh, just a small m for meter, small c m for centimeter, and small m m for millimeter. And here we've got the conversion between two, how we can switch um, between the two, uh, between uh, any of the units. So to go from kilometres to metres, we multiply by 1,000. Metres to centimetres, we multiply by 100. And uh, centimetres to millimetres, we multiply by 10. Going in the opposite direction, we just divide by those same numbers. So here, divide by 1,000, divide by 100, and divide by 10 to go from each to the other. So the word kilo actually means, kilo means a thousand, it's Latin for a thousand, so that's why we multiply by a thousand. Centi is uh, Latin for a hundredth, so we've got a hundred there, uh, div uh, and dividing by a hundred. And milli is uh, Latin for a thousand, so, or, or um, one thousandth. So we've got, if we go uh, multiply by 10 and multiply by 100, that's multiplying by 1,000 to go from metres to millimetres. So millimetre means one thousandth of a metre. Centimetre means one hundredth of a metre. And kilometre means a thousand times a metre. So if we're looking at perimeter, perimeter is the distance around a closed shape. Uh, all units it must be the same uh, when we're calculating the perimeter. So if we're looking at this shape here, this quadrilateral, it's a four-sided shape, we've got uh, two sides that are the same. And we know that they're the same because they're marked with the same number of dashes. This has two dashes, this has two dashes. So we know that this side length must be x as well. So here we've got x, x, and we've got y and z. So in order to find the perimeter, if we start at one point, on our, on our quadrilateral, on our shape, um, and travel all the way around and add the values that we have. So if we add x plus x, there's two lots of x. So 2x, 2 times x, plus y plus z, that'll get us all the way back to the start and we'll have worked out our perimeter. So p, perimeter, equals 2 times x, 2x, plus y plus z. Example one, we look at our first example. Uh, we need to convert these lengths to the units shown in brackets. So we need to convert 5.2 centimetres to millimetres and 8, 85,000 centimetres to kilometres. So for our first one, 8.2 centimetres. To get it to millimetres, we need to multiply by 10. So 8.2 times 10 millimetres, uh, 5.2, sorry, times 10 millimetres, which is 52 millimetres. Now with 85,000 centimetres, we need to con convert that uh, first to metres and then to kilometres to get to, to the unit we need, we need to get to. So 85,000 divided by 100 metres is 850 metres, uh, and then 850 metres divided by 1,000 kilometres is equal to 0 0.85 kilometres. Looking at our last example, we need to find the perimeter of this shape here. Let's have a look at that one first. So work, working out all the way per, around the perimeter, we can see that we've got these two lengths are the same. And because these two lengths are the same, that means this is going to be three centimetres, and so is this going to be three centimetres. That means that this length all the way along here is going to be three plus three centimetres. This length along here is four centimetres, and that means that this length plus this length here is going to be four centimetres as well. So if we're travelling all the way around uh, our perimeter, we can add four centimetres plus three centimetres, plus another three centimetres, plus the four centimetres from here, and plus another three, plus another three centimetres. So four plus three plus three, plus four plus three, plus three. So it, the perimeter all the way around our object is 20 centimetres. Looking at this, our second uh, part of our example, find the unknown value x here in this triangle if the perimeter is 19 centimetres. So the distance all the way around is 19 centimetres. Now we know the perimeter uh, is going to be, if we start at this point here, it's going to be x plus x, because this is the same side length here. So x plus x plus five. And that's going to be the perimeter all the way around, which we know is 19 centimetres. So 19 uh, equals two x, two times x, x plus x, uh, plus five centimetres. If we take that five centimetres off uh, of, from the perimeter, we're just going to be left with two x. 
So 14, so that's 19, take away the five centimeters is four, 14, is going to be equal to two X, two lots of our missing value X. Then if we uh, find half of what two X is, half of what two X is, that's going to give us just what one, one X is. So if we divide this by two, divide this by two, we get X one X, one lot of X is seven. So that means X is seven centimeters.